Asphalt is a black liquid substance that's a byproduct of processing crude petroleum. It is a key component of waterproofing and insulation materials. It's also used for roofing shingles. But its best known use is for paving roads. Asphalt cement is a byproduct of crude oil. And it's this ingredient that's mixed with crushed rocks and other minerals to make paving asphalt. Production begins at the paving plant's quarry, where some 15 metres below ground, workers driving heavy machinery collect boulders of granite that have been blasted off the rock walls. Trucks transport the rocks to the paving plant, which is right on the quarry site. They dump their cargo into the primary crusher, a machine whose steel jaws crush these big rocks into pieces smaller than 20 centimetres. It takes a huge amount of force to crush solid rock. The flywheels that amplify the motor's energy weigh more than six metric tons. The primary crusher empties onto a mobile conveyor belt, which transports the crushed rocks to an outdoor storage area. When it's time to make the asphalt, the rocks travel via a conveyor belt from the storage area to a screening building to be classified by size. There, the rocks tumble downward over a series of inclined screens, whose largest holes are 10 centimetres across. Pieces too large drop through and go to a secondary crusher that reduces the rocks to 10 centimetres or smaller, then sends them to a third or tertiary crusher that further reduces them to two centimetres or smaller. Rocks small enough to pass through the screens bypass the secondary crusher and go directly to the tertiary crusher. After this last crushing stage, the largest stones are two centimetres in size. Everything smaller than five millimetres goes in one pile. That includes stone dust created by the crushing process. Stones 10 to 14 millimetres in size go into another pile. Stones 5 to 10 millimetres into another. Trucks transfer material from each pile to separate compartments called feed bins. Exactly what goes into the paving asphalt depends on what's being paved, but generally these are the four ingredients. Sand. stone dust, 5 to 10 millimetre stones and 10 to 14 millimetre stones. The ingredient proportions vary according to what the paving asphalt will be used for. Stones, along with sand and stone dust as fillers, usually make up about 95% of the mix. The remainder, added later, will be liquid asphalt cement. Each bin releases a specific amount of material onto a conveyor belt running underneath it. The belts lead to a main collecting belt that dumps the combined ingredients onto yet another belt that leads to a dryer. The drying process, which takes about a minute, removes all traces of humidity. This will enable the materials to bond better with the asphalt cement. Screening equipment then re-separates the dried ingredients making it possible to weigh out precisely the required amount of each one. Everything then goes into a mixer. As this demonstration shows, the mixer blends everything thoroughly. Then it's time to pump in hot asphalt cement. Oil refineries make asphalt cement from what's left over after they've processed crude oil. The paving mix contains about 5% asphalt cement. So, if you want to make yourself a paving asphalt cake, take one healthy portion of hot asphalt cement and stir well. The ingredients should bind in around 30 seconds. The mixer empties directly into trucks destined for the paving site. There, a paving machine will spread the hot asphalt on the roadbed. Then a compactor roller will pack it down. After about an hour, the asphalt will have cooled and hardened, and it's then time to hit the road.